Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the picker view. So that view that you scroll down, you have probably seen it if you have used either the stopwatch or the countdown in your iPhone. So we are going to take that picker view and use it in our own app. So if that is something you want to know how to do or learn how to use the picker view, then just keep watching. So let's get started by creating a new Xcode project and this project I am going to name PickerView. Picker view. And I'm not going to use some core data, just make sure that the language is set to Swift. And then click next and then save it somewhere. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And then we head over to main.storyboard where we are going to lay out our app. And we are only going to use two elements for this tutorial. We are going to need the picker, let's see, the picker view. So let's drag that in, just like that. And then we're going to need a label. And let's drag that in also. And what I want displayed in this picker view is my shopping list. And then when I click on the item, I want the item to be displayed in this label right here. Uh, so let's head over, let's click on this icon right here and let's connect the two elements. So we're going to use the label. Let's drag that in. Label. And we are going to need the picker view. So let's drag that in. Also control drag and call it picker view and connect it. And then we're going to do just one more thing in our storyboard and that is to control drag from our picker view to this yellow button right here and select data source. Do it one more time and then select delegate. And then we're going to head over to our view controller and here we are going to fill in UI picker view data source and UI, um, UI picker view delegate. There we go. And we will now probably get an error and that is because we haven't implemented all the functions that we need in order to run the picker view successfully or to use the picker view. So we are now going to implement these functions so that we remove the error and so that the picker view becomes functional. But before we do that, we just have to create an array uh, with the items that we want to be displayed in our picker view. So I'm going to say let foods because this is a shopping list and I'm going to say uh, apples, bananas, bananas, corn, beans, beans, and tomatoes. Tom, to, let's see, tomatoes, it isn't supposed to be easy. So here we have our um, array for our foods. And now we are going to create a function so that we get an operational picker view. An array is great, but we want a picker view. So let's start by defining the number of components in our picker view. And this just means how many rows we have and we don't need more than one. So we are going to return one. Then we are going to need title for row. So this one and this is going to, as you see, this one wants us to return a string. So this is going to be the label in the picker view. So the different text. So we are here we are going to return our array and then row and the row goes from zero, one, two, three, four, all the way through our um, array and then displays that in our picker view. Then we also need a, let's see what we need. We need number of rows, number of rows in component. And this is just how many rows we have. And this of course needs to be equal to the length of our array. So we're going to say foods dot count. And then we need one last one and that is did select row or we don't need it, but we're going to use it in this tutorial right here because when our user selects a certain item, we want it to be displayed in our label. So we just write label dot text is equal to, let's see, it is equal to foods and then row. There we go. And now everything should be fine. Uh, and let's try to launch the app. That's the easiest way to find out if everything is working as we wanted to.
Okay, so here we have our app. As you can see, we have the label and the picker view. It's probably not the most uh, pr the most pretty layout, but it serves the purpose of showing how a picker view works. So let's try to scroll down to bananas. And as you can see, it displays bananas and corn and beans and tomatoes. And we can scroll as much as we like, and it's going to display the item. So that is how you use a picker view. It's not much, it's not more to it than that. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And um, you know what? I'm going to go through all the code one more time just to make everything crystal clear if there's something you didn't understand. And that is, first of all, we create an array with our items. We then need certain functions in order to make the picker view operational. So first we need to define how many sections there are in one row. Then we need to define how many rows we want. And then we define what text should be in each row. So that's all there is to it. That's the function that we need. And then this one we added on in order to display um, the selected row in our label. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for future Swift tutorials. And uh, thank you for watching.